Hi, I'm Christine Jacobson, and I'm here to tell you another story about my DNA testing surprise. So in 2016, I decided, hey, why not take a DNA test? What fun! And when I got my results back from Ancestry.com, the big surprise was that I was 25% West African, which was such a departure from the 100% Danish that I thought I was that I said, oh, I guess that kind of confirms that story that I was told when I was 16 years old and that I've wondered about for the last 50 years, a half century. I guess that story was true. But what was I going to do with that information? It didn't help me. There were cousins that I matched with, but they were like third and fifth cousins. And any time I tried to reach out to any of them, they didn't respond or they had no idea how we were related. So that was difficult and maybe I couldn't deal with that information because it really would mean that I'd have to look at the fact that the man who raised me, my father, was not biologically related to me and that was a tough concept. So for a year and a half I really did nothing with that information it kind of seeped out sideways with me making different pieces of artwork that had to do with some African heritage. But other than that, I really didn't talk about it much or do anything with it. Except when I went to the doctor, I realized, hey, wait a minute, I don't really know the information on my biological father's side about the health, his health history. I don't know anything about this person. And people had been telling me that 23andMe was a better way of finding out any maybe genetic risk factors for disease you might have. So I did the 23andMe DNA test. And in addition to those genetic markers that I learned about, I also matched with a first cousin. And that's how my story began. How did your story begin?